Oh, a dead flower. Thank you. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi, Nicole. Honey, Nicole, Nicole, surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday! Uh, hey, sweetie. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marco. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. You fucked up.
So, all are you 25? You're very funny. If I'm younger, so are you. We're both the same age, Paul. Yeah. Um, but I will stay at the same age as I am now next year too. There's nothing wrong about getting a little older. I mean, every day you're getting to look more like him. Like who? Marlon Brando. Oh, oh you're so funny. You're so funny. You know what? You see this belt? Did you see this yeah, belt? Yeah, yeah. It's not a normal belt. It's a sympathy belt. <laughs> it's my sympathy belt. When my wife was pregnant, um, she was eating a lot. And you kept her company? <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you that before? Uh -huh. Every time we talk about your belt. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Are you guys talking about the sympathy belly again? Yeah, but I just don't get it. How oh, you lost your weight and he kept his. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Stop insulting me, okay? The biggest question of the night is, are you ready for the portal meeting tomorrow? Yeah. You know I am. We have worked very hard on this project. Tomorrow, we will leave that room with a victory. Please, just for one night, can we not talk about the office? Okay, it's already, yeah. But I don't want to hear any word about my belly. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My sympathy belly. <laughs> 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 oh, really should take her home. Yeah, she's tired, my beautiful baby. Bye bye. Okay, I'm sick. I'm gonna take her to the car. <laughs> Good night and happy birthday. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Be careful. Bye. Thank you. Bye. By the way, did you know what kind of fool you married? <laughs> I forgot it was my birthday. I knew it. My life would be shit without you. I know. I know I did it on purpose to see that cute childlike expression on your face when you get in bed. Do you want to dance? Yeah, I'd love to. treatments and the Chinese piece for both the friends. Okay, honey. And then by tonight, we will celebrate if we get the project. Or you can give me more support if we don't. I know you'll get it. Good luck. I love Thank you. you. Me too. Have a good day. Hope you Thank get you. it, because I need a new pair of shoes. All right. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Alright. My partner is gonna be in a minute here. Alright, we'll have a seat there. I'll be right with you. Thank you. 
Can I offer anything to drink? No, I'm okay. Thanks. All right, well, let me know. Okay. Okay. No, I was thinking about your sympathy belly. <laughs> You're so funny. Stop busting my balls, okay? Okay. okay. You get the right prints with you, blueprints. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. You need anything before the meeting? Coffee or something? Talking about coffee. Yeah, I need yeah. a frappuccino. A what? Frappuccino. What the hell is that? I always loved the sound of it. But I've never tasted it, Paul. Repeat after me. Frappuccino. Frappuccino. I want a frappuccino. I don't want to bring you any freaking frappuccino, okay? By the way, you're extremely funny today, yeah. You're so funny, funny, yeah. What happened to you? You didn't take your pills? No. I'm just ready to kick some ass. You sure you ready? I'm ready. Right. Really? Sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Gentlemen, they're ready for you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To you, Paul. Let's do it. <laughs> Mr. Pomagiano! Mr. Pomagiano, how are you, sir? Nice to see you again. We got the contract. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. We got it. I'm happy. We make it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, honey? That means we'll be celebrating tonight. Okay, we're all going to go to Timmy's. I'll see you there around 7. Okay, great. I'll see you there. Congratulations. Tell Paul the same. All right, honey. And uh, Paul says hi. I'll see you tonight. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> you know what you the best? <laughs> With the computer, <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. No, it's, it's. We did good today. Ladies, gentlemen, I want to make a toast for my best friend, the hero of the night, Mr. Michael Bishop, my hero. Thanks, Paul. Well, he's always been my hero, but I didn't know you felt the same way, Paul. Are you a drink? Oh, you're my hero. You never did that to me. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> oh, this is the biggest fright we got so far, really. I can't believe we're making a mall in the city center. You guys deserve it. You both worked so hard on this project. I remember all the sleepless nights you two spent drinking coffee all night. Thank God it is finished and a success, because I was beginning to worry about your mental capacity. I don't agree. I want to make another toast. Hey, everybody. I want to make another toast for, for Simothy. I can't believe we are still normal, you know? <laughs> Cheers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! What do you think about this? I don't know, maybe go to some place later. You and me. Come on. Like the old days. Paul, we're not like the old days. I can't drink like that anymore. I can't drink like that anymore. Oh. 
sides. Am I making a mistake giving you the opportunity to go out with Paul? Yeah, the biggest mistake. When we were kids, we used to call him Funnel. The Funnel. Oh, really? I didn't know that. And why? What? May I have a bottle of tequila and a Funnel, please? Okay, here's the new deal. You are going to leave your Funnel and your Shuffle and anything that makes you drink faster at home. And you will be home by midnight, or else I will turn into a pumpkin. Okay, that's great. Check, please. I go. Come on, man. Hurry up. Are you sure you want to go out with him? Because I have a surprise for you. I love surprises. Why? I know you love her. Hold on a minute. I better go before he wakes up the neighbors. Okay. But are y'all surprised we'll only be here two more hours? Well, when I get back, I'm glad I took my surprise. <laughs> Me too. This is not a bar. This is a bar, man. This is a club and a really oh, loud one. Don't worry, I'm gonna take care of you. Come on. Oh. You know what she's gonna say. Shut up. Okay, listen to me. Having fun doesn't count as cheating. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Where's the bathroom? I don't know, it's over there on the corner. Go well, there, hurry up when you come back. You're gonna have fun until morning, okay? Till morning. I gotta leave by 11.30, you know that. She wants me home by 12. Yeah, whatever. Go there. I mean, I okay. mean it, Paul, I mean Okay, it. okay, take it easy, bro. First of all, Fuck I'm you. just here to use I the bathroom. I don't fucking give a shit. I saw you staring at her up and down. I have no reason other than just you using are the bathroom. A asshole. I'm here don't celebrating a project. And that's what, that's it. What's, whatsoever. I, I, excuse me. I need to use the then bathroom. Then fucking go ahead. Asshole. I tell him, bro. What to do again? Maybe he is my friend, Mark. <laughs> Those two beautiful girls. Hello. They're waiting for you. Nice to meet you. It's a genius, you know? Yeah. All the girls are crazy about that. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. You were there a long time. Yeah, I was. Very nice. Honestly, I hate waiting in line at this place. There's so many damn people. It's like you get and then you get that peak for you. It's the worst. Look, it's like they need a room, huh? Yeah, yeah, they can go to the bathroom together, but we can't go in there and make up with the guy. They don't care about lesbians and gays. Talk about equal rights. Look at them. I wish I could make out with the bathroom. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Paul, can I talk to you? One second. Thank you. Thank you friends here. Yeah, one second. Just one. Yeah. What are you doing? You said we're only coming here for one drink. I gotta be home by 12. Excuse me. So, what are you gonna do? 
Mm-hmm. So, what do you do for a living? I'm an engineer. So I'm here tonight celebrating a big deal. A big deal? A big project? How big? A really huge deal. However, I do gotta be home by 12. Just relax. Enjoy the moment. I have to go. I'm sorry. This is on me. You don't have to go. Thank you. Good night. Why are you leaving? I'm sorry. What's up? Why are you leaving? Hey, what? Where are you going? Hey. Are you fucking kidding me? You promised. <laughs> I feel funny wearing these clothes. No, you look cute. And sexy. What, do I look like a porn star or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then come over and give me a kiss. No, you come give me a kiss. <laughs> mm. Mm. Where's the brush? Let <laughs> me get a
Listen, my mom called and she misses me. I haven't seen her in a while. When do you think we could head down there? Just for a weekend. You know how important this small project is to us. Why don't you just go without me? Leave you here alone? Pack today and go for the weekend. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, honey. Okay. This looks great, honey. Thank you. Thank you. You got everything, honey? Yes. You sure? Toothbrush? Everything? Everything. All right. And you better be good while I'm gone. Of course, I always have. And I'm always going to be. Besides, I will hear from you every night. Yes, you will. But I trust you, and I love you. Mwah. I love you too, honey. Come on, we better go before I miss the train. Please don't forget to water the plants. Okay, honey. Okay, and I made your chicken soup. It's in the fridge. All right, thank you. Let's get your bags. If anything happens, call me. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Mwah. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, honey. Hello? Yes, Paul. I changed it already. You can't find it. I'll be there at the office as soon as possible. All right, thank you. Bye. I gotta go. All right? Have a safe trip, honey. Hello, Bishop Architect. Hi, honey. How was the trip? Good. Yeah, we should be done in about an hour. <laughs> How are mom and dad? Glad to hear. Say hello for me. You can call me at home if you need to after 10. Wait, wait a minute, honey. Actually, Paul wants to get a few drinks after and talk about the new project. I will call you when I'm finished, if I don't get home too late. I love you. Good night, honey. Love you, honey. Love you, honey. Let's get out of here. I want to show you your life. So where are we going? Bar you? No, a new place. Beautiful place. Effendis. Effendis? Yeah. I thought we were going to discuss the new project. Okay, listen to me. Stop Talk about the fucking new project, okay? Just for one night, please, for one night, having fun, enjoy it, relax. What are you talking about? I'm a married man. So, what does has to do with half a few drinks with your best friend? Come on, tell me. I'll tell you what has to do. I told Nicole that we're going to discuss the new project. You know what? You know what? That fucking pussy whip. What? What? Prove it to me you're not. Come on. I am not pussy. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, you're not a pussy whip. Okay, my friend is not a pussy, pussy whip. Okay, okay, sorry, you okay? Now fucking prove it to me. Come on, buddy. What's going on, man? Having fun, relax. All right, come on, we'll be... One drink. One drink, that's it, that's it. It's easy, come on. All right, okay, love you. Hi. Good evening. Gentlemen, how are we doing this evening? Very, very good. Very good? Very good. Yeah. Out of town for the night? Ah, uh, we, we try. Yes? Just came back from work? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. What can I get you gentlemen this evening? Well, for me, um, uh, may I have a Jack and Coke. Jack and Coke? Yeah, Jack. Not a problem. For you, sir. Cranberry juice, please. Cranberry juice? Cranberry juice? Um, you, you hear that? He's your friend. Oh man, it's not my wife. Come <laughs> on, man. You say one drink. You kidding me? 
with Grey Goose. Okay. Cranberry juice, Grey Goose. Is that good? Yeah. Jack That's and great. Cool. Coming right up. Thank you. What's up, bro? You uh, like the place? Yeah. I'm glad I uh, got the project. To me, it's very important, Paul. You did it, bro. You did it. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. So are you. Thank you. Think about it. Two beautiful girls. Jack and Cole. Enjoy that one. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. For the project, for the girls. Mm. Ah, this is good. I gotta go to the restroom. Please, stay here. Have fun. Relax. Make it, make it. Okay? Catastrophe, flailing cacophony, but this is just for you. So do you pray with your eyes shielded and hope it all goes away? Wanna go for a ride? Sure. Sure. Right now, let's go. Sorry, I was looking for you. You kill me? I saw you at the bar with the red hat. You were talking too much. You were busy, man. You went to the bathroom. You never came back. She came and she sat next to me. So? You know how you are, you know? Like a pussy whip. Like always. I am not. I am not a pussy whip. Stop. Okay. okay, you're not? Then prove it. I was looking Hi. for you. Hi. You're the friend who got lost in the bathroom? Yeah. Paul. Yeah. Eve. Nice to meet you, Paul. Eve. Nice to meet you. Oh. So, you want to take care of my friend? I'd love to. Come he on. He would love to. <laughs> Come on. Come buy me a drink. Have Come fun, on. yeah. Patrick, you, you, you have money, buddy? <laughs> oh. Looks like your friend's going to have a good time tonight. Oh, I hope. I hope that. He need it. What about you and me? You want to dance? Uh,
So how was the redhead? I don't want to talk about it. You did it, man. I said I don't want to talk about it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I knew it, man. I knew it. You're not a saint. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, man, don't worry. You're a human being. It's okay. Okay, you cheated on your wife. Big deal. You know what? I'm proud of you, bro. Don't worry, she was hot. Look! It will stay between me, you, and the redhead. And Nicole will never find out. Believe me, we'll never find out. Oh, damn. I was just telling a few guys. What? Stop. I'm just Whoa. kidding, man. Just Stop. kidding. It's gonna be between us. And Don't it worry. will stay that way. Okay. Whoa. <sighs> talking about? I'm just a bit tired and I learned how to do housework. It's not like it's a walk in the park, that's for sure. Well, I'm glad you figured that out. So, how are your parents? Good, good. Everybody's good. But they did torture me about having me. <sighs> Honey, you know we don't have time right now. No one has babies before they're ready, go. People have babies every day without being ready. I mean, what? Nicole. I've explained this to you before. I need to focus on the project. Work, work, work. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, I love that. I mean, you think everything is so easy. All this shit for free. The house, the car, the furniture. Everything requires goddamn money. Besides, I'm not saying we will not have a baby. Please, honey, be patient and try to understand. We will have a baby. When we are ready. No. When you are ready, Marco. Be cold. Big burger for me. The burger? Yeah. All right. Big burger. Please. With of fries. Of course. And do you know what you're going to have today? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have just water and. Okay. Um, Water for me too. Water for you also, Brenda? Yeah. Okay. Do you, your salads, which one do you recommend? I really like this one with the goat, the goat cheese and the tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'll have some water right over. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, the thing is, the guys and I will go to a club this weekend. Are you in? No. No? Why not? 
You know what happened last time. Are you crazy? You have fun. That's it. Hey. It wasn't fun. It wasn't a fear. <laughs> Come on, Marco. It was just one night stand. That's it. I cheated on my wife. It was the biggest mistake I have done in my life. I am not going to ask you to go out anymore. Come here, Mark. Thank you. You're welcome. 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 I have an affair with a red-haired woman. No worry. Do you think I can bear to Jesus? The conversation ends here. Lovely okay. You. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thanks. And salad for you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. You're welcome. I am home. I'm down in the studio. Do you really believe that Jesus and Mary Madeline had a relationship? You believe that theory? That she was his wife? Who knows? He was human after all. And she is beautiful. She could have been the inspiration for countless artists that all painted red women in the paintings. See? There's the proof. Isn't she beautiful? The beautiful woman is standing right for me. <laughs> Never let you go. That footsteps on the stairs echo in my head like a timpani, and my mind won't set my conscience free. Second guess and everything. Repeat these prayers will never fall. I won't test God's faith anymore. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I don't know when my last confession was. I tried to be good, but I failed. I was unfaithful to my wife. I love her. 
and I feel this terrible pain that I hurt her and deceived her. Why? Why did you do this? I was drunk. I felt powerful. I just finished a huge job at work. This blinded me. I was empowered by my own success. Like no one could judge me. But... Continue, my son, continue. But now, I'm judging my actions and myself, Father. I can see that you're genuinely sorry for your sin. And God forgives those who repent. The question I ask is, can you forgive yourself? My son, I absolve you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Seeing you in three months, okay. we'll schedule a visit after mm -hmm. the first trimester. Um, until then, if anything happens in between, please let me know. Thank you so yes. much. You're welcome. Have a good one. Yeah, bye bye. Thank you. Bye. I cannot believe it. I'm finally going to be a mother. There's our baby growing inside of me. We have to get ready, like decorate the baby's room. Oh, honey. We have to wait to see if it's a boy or a girl first. You mean you don't want it to be a surprise? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Doesn't it make sense to take advantage of modern technology? I mean, what if we end up having a baby boy and we painted the room pink? <laughs> then we would have to repaint the room with a screaming baby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're right. I guess the best thing to do is we. But we're having a baby. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Morrow with tonight's headline news. I mean anything in Washington work. today, the president faces increasing okay, so pressure right. from both houses of Congress to decide on a course of action. Love you too. Later in the broadcast, Bye. our White House correspondent will report live from the Congress. Congratulations to you too. Hello, While thank we you, wait honey. for the president, let us take a look at the local headlines. She's infected over 50 men with HIV in the last two years, either by intercourse or by injecting them with infected needles. Eve Fallon says that she is the victim, and those men are not. She claims the man who gave her AIDS was the true culprit. Police say that if you've had any type of relationship with this woman, to go to the hospital and get an HIV test. Those testing would contact the district attorney's office. 
Marco. We will return with the president speaking to the Jones Garden. Can you hear me? Yes, I'll be right there, honey. I guess you have seen this. Yes. Oh. What do you want to do now? Well, let me take you to the hospital. <laughs> Everything's gonna be alright. Maybe, maybe you didn't. <sighs> you take me to the hospital. Yeah. No, thank you. When you call calls, be my cover. Sure. I'm here for you, bro. I'm here for you. You're here for me? Yeah. Listen to me. I am Pussy Whip. Come on, Marco. Let's go out. Forget the project. You're here for me. My best friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'll send him right in. Come in. Mom, have a seat. I'm sorry, Marco. Test came back positive. I think you should stay so we can do a little more blood work and determine the extent of the virus. I can't go. I need to find out if my wife's infected. Tell me about your wife. When was the last time you had sex with her? Well, 
few days ago. But the thing is, she's pregnant. Sometimes, when the mother is infected with the virus, the child is not, and the virus can lay dormant for years. Yeah, but how do I tell her? You made a promise to each other to stay together in sickness and in health. What about, do not trespass your husband or your wife? She needs to know. Doc, tell me something. Is my wife and child victims of my selfishness? I cannot answer that, Marco. That is for you and them to decide. Thanks, Doc. You were in a meeting with a new client. I didn't know you were starting a new project already. There isn't a new project. Oh, what happened? You didn't like your ideas? Ready? The truth is, there wasn't a new client. There was no meeting. Okay. What's the matter? Why are you so upset? What happened? I lied to you. What do you mean? What about what? Marco, you're scaring me. Marco. Nicola cheated on you. You did what? What did you do? Don't, don't touch me. What did you just say to me? I was drunk. I swear I was drunk. Oh, many, perfect. many months ago. And why are you telling me this now? I, I don't understand. We're having a baby. Because I'm HIV positive. What? The lady no. from the news. No. I'm one of her victims. She's the one I slept with. No. Don't touch me, my God! No! <laughs> Hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Nicole. <sighs> You've reached Nicole Bishop. Sorry, but I can't answer the phone right now. Please leave your name, phone number, and the time you called. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Honey, it's me again. I know you're mad at me, but please, I want one more chance just for us, for you, me, and the baby. I love you. Nicole. fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? I'm the guy whose life you have destroyed. <laughs> Great. The fuck do you want? Who are you to feel you can play with the life of others? Don't forget. Someone played with my life. So you can take your revenge this way? An eye for an eye attitude, just to anyone? You did this to yourself. You slept with me, right? I'm sorry, Nicole, but the loss of cervical blood was a miscarriage due to a blighted ovary. Yeah, I slept with you, but I was drunk. 
They took this window of opportunity and took advantage of me. You know, I was married once. I loved my husband. I was so dedicated to him. <sighs> he cheated on me. He gave me HIV. It ruined my life. All you men are the same. You just think about your dicks. You tell me why you're so fucking selfish. You tell me. But there's no reason for what you do to others. Hey, sit down. Sit down. Well, because it was uh, early in her uh, pregnancy, there was little, if any, uh, fetal uh, tissue formed. Her body was uh, able to expel all the elements of the pregnancy. I remember you now. <laughs> Remember you. You're the guy that kept talking about his wife. My wife, my wife, my wife, my fucking wife. Yet yeah, you took me to the bed where you sleep with your wife. Fortunately, you fell asleep. You mean I never slept with you? Then how else would have I gotten this? You just need to give yourself some time to rest. <laughs> and uh, you don't need any further treatment. I'm sorry, Nicole. I injected you with it. You injected me with what? I injected you with my own blood. I never cheated on my wife. You sick bitch. She's never gonna believe you. <laughs> you can't get out of this one. Get out of this one. You're crazy. You take your revenge on me. You ruin my life. My wife. My child. What have they done to you? What have they done to me? What have they done to me? You make me sick. You've been cheating for years and years and years and getting away with it. Not anymore. Well, not anymore. This time you're gonna pay. I'm making you pay. You will burn in hell for this. I already live in hell. You live in fucking hell. Besides, you took me to your room that night. You were gonna cheat anyway. Fuck you. Fuck Hold you. You're the devil. Come Fuck down. her. She deserves to die. Hold down. I 
I'm very sorry. <laughs> but understand, please, that you did nothing to put yourself at high risk. I'm sorry. He took my baby. <laughs> he took my baby. He did this. <laughs> now my baby's gone. <laughs> down in the study.
Hello, Jim? Jim, I didn't sleep with her. She injected me, Jim. She injected- No, you listen to me, Marco. She's been taken to the hospital and she's not breathing. What? Where? My little girl, my baby girl. I'm sorry. Who did you expect? I thought it was Nicole. I just left her a message. I thought she was coming back to me. Marco. You have to understand, she's dead. 
she died over a month ago. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're a liar. You're a goddamn liar. Come back to reality. She's dead. You went to her funeral. Get up. You buried her. No. You buried her on a cemetery. Now, look at me, bro. Now that you have to bury it in your heart, okay? Okay? Come on. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I didn't kill her. Stop! I'm trying to move forward with my life. Why would I want to kill my wife? I didn't mean to hurt her. Do you think it was my fault? I believe you're right. You are right. I promise you, I'll take care of this very soon. My hero. I'm gonna see her very soon.
Now I die just to be with you again. Once upon a time, really not so long ago, I was everything to you. You called me your hero. Somewhere along the way, I'm not sure the time and place. I got lost. Then you got lost, and we couldn't find our way. Oh, how can I prove to you I'm sorry? Tell me what can I do to ease the pain? Oh, I'm feeling at this point that I've exhausted all my options. Now I die just to be with you again. Tell me what can I do to ease the pain? Oh, I'm feeling at this point that I've exhausted all my options. You know I'd die if I could be with you. Again.